Republican-controlled states are pushing back against newly modified Title IX rules unveiled by the Biden administration. Title IX protects people from discrimination based on sex in education programs or activities that receive federal money. It applies to schools and local and state educational agencies. Last week, the Department of Education released new regulations under Title IX, expanding the current ban on discrimination based on sex to include sexual orientation and gender identity. The new rule also provides more protection to students who accuse others of sexual misconduct or harassment and rolls back due process rules for the accused, put in place by former President Donald Trump. The new rule does not directly address the issue of transgender girls and women playing on women's and girls' sports teams. The new regulations clash with laws already on the books in many red states. In a letter this week, Louisiana's education chief told schools to ignore the new regulations, stating they violate existing state laws. He said the new rules would force schools to allow biological boys and men who identify as female to have access to women's and girls' bathrooms and locker rooms in public schools, or the school could face sanctions. He also warned districts the new rule could force educators to reference students by names and pronouns not consistent with their biological sex and also erode parent notification of such student desires. 11 states have passed legislation barring trans girls or women from using female bathrooms in public schools. 24 other states, including Louisiana, have also passed laws preventing trans student athletes from participating on sports teams consistent with their gender identity. The new Title IX rule directly opposes these state laws, stating separating people based on sex is unlawful when it harms a protected individual, such as when it denies a transgender student access to a sex-separate facility or activity consistent with that student's gender identity. Ryan Walters, Oklahoma's top education official, sent out a letter to all superintendents across his state saying, I believe these rule changes are illegal and unconstitutional. They violate the First Amendment, the Administrative Procedures Act, and longstanding civil rights protections for women and girls. <laughs> Oklahoma's legislature is currently trying to pass a law to define the words man and woman by biological sex. And Walter says Biden's new Title IX regulations would be in direct conflict. Republican-controlled states are gearing up for a legal battle. Several attorneys general and conservative groups have threatened to sue the Biden administration over the new regulations. However, no lawsuits have yet been filed. The Alliance Defending Freedom, a conservative Christian law firm, released a statement about the new Title IX changes, saying in part, the Biden administration's radical redefinition of sex turns back the clock on equal opportunity for women, threatens student safety and privacy, and undermines fairness in women's sports. It is a slap in the face to women and girls who have fought long and hard for equal opportunities. The new Title IX rule is set to take effect August 1st.